Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show and welcome to Alice and Django the dog, Epic yeah. TV dog. Yeah. Now guys, we're gonna be doing another challenge style gear show. So next week it's Valentine's Day and it can be super tricky to buy the right present for the person in your life, especially when they're a climber. So what we've done is we've thought of four categories of presents. We're gonna go away, find gifts for those categories and can come back and argue about it and you guys can vote on your favorite gifts. Now, instead of just doing, I'm gonna pick my girlfriend's presents, you're gonna pick okay. your boyfriend's presents, why don't we switch it around? So I'm gonna pick presents that I would like to get from my girlfriend, and you pick the ones you'd like to get from your boyfriend. What are the categories that we're gonna be doing today? So we have four categories, like uh, small presents under 20 euros, then we have uh, mid-range presents, uh, 100 euros more or less, and then blow the budget, how much you want, <laughs> and uh, the present for the person that have everything, so. Cool, that's good that's categories. A tricky one. Yeah, it's tricky, because like those budget gifts, maybe you've been dating for a couple of weeks, you have to get them something, but you don't want to get them something too big, but appear a bit keen, you know? Medium presents, someone the longer, blow the budget, you're married to them, uh, and then the climber who has everything, you and me, really, <laughs> basically. <laughs> All right, so let's give ourselves a time at half an hour. Okay. I'll go find some presents, you go find some presents. Django can do his Django dog thing, and I'll see you back here on the table soon. All right. Best of luck. <laughs> I needed a little bit of help for this one, so I'm here with Teresa, that is our new intern, and uh, she's gonna help me choose the products. I know maybe this is a bit cheating, but come on. Hmm? And so we need to look, first of all, at um, small presents. All right. And it's difficult because it's like 20 euros and I don't know, it's not enough for uh, like uh, gears, accessories or something like that. I think all we should right. look in that category. And otherwise, what do you suggest? Just like something small but useful. All right, so check on climbing accessories. Ooh, what about glasses? Boot bananas. Banana boot. Bananas. Good bananas. Yeah. Well, do you have smelly like, feet? No. Well, I'm, yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, like, but the shoes get quite stinky, so, like, why not? Okay, I got this is quite a tricky challenge, actually, because, all right, if I was just picking a gift purely for myself, middle range, maybe I get some C4 cams, I'd like some new ultra light uh, crampons, but I'm thinking a bit, a bit more general, what, what you guys might want to get as well. So I'm going to try to remove myself out of this a little bit. Now, with the budget gift idea, under 20 euros, there's lots of choices, especially in the range of climbing gear, but what I'm thinking about is chalk. And the reason I'm thinking about chalk is that it sort of doesn't matter what your relationship situation is, every climber wants chalk. And if I received a bag of chalk, I'd actually be quite chuffed because it means I haven't got to buy it myself. But it's Valentine's Day. Obviously, I've got to find something a bit special. So I'm delving deep into the Epic TV chalk pile to find something a little bit different. So thinking chalk for that. Medium price, uh, I think I have clear ideas on that because I've always wanted a beta stick. Medium present. I, th I think it's, it's got to be clothes. Uh, I like a t-shirt. Right, we're back, half an hour. That was quite tough. I struggled a little bit with that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, it's tricky to because because obviously there are things that I want that I've then got to think what other people will want as well because I want to win this challenge. It, it's tricky. Um, let's start with the budget presents, all right? Okay. And we should just remind you guys that this is not presents that we're buying for people. It's presents that we're being gived, gived, <laughs> given either by girlfriend or boyfriend or girlfriend or girlfriend or whatever. But it's presents that we want to receive. Exactly. So budget-wise, what did you go for? So I picked two different things because I couldn't really choose mm -hmm. in between. So I have like the uh, Y and Y uh, climbing mag. Basically it's a mag but with a climbing old. So actually I think that when the water or whatever is in liquid is yeah. inside, it's going to be quite hard to hold it. So you need but like a heavy liquid, so like mercury inside your mug and then it will be a good workout. Yeah, or in Italian, not chocolate. <laughs> 
Price is on the limit because it's 19.90. Okay, so just under that 20 euro yes. budget we set. Yeah. And otherwise, I pick like the Epic TV Nalgini bottle, one liter, and that's uh, 11 euros 90. Nice. I like that because it's branded. Maybe your partner loves Epic TV. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It could Plus be a good gift. Clear. It's not not any specific color, so it's good for everyone. You've got mainly liquids for your choice here. Yeah. Thirsty person, or is this just coincidence? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, like, I, it's things I want to receive. That, is, I want to that is absolutely fair enough. You My, can fill it with wine, and ooh, then it's Maybe romantic. that's a Valentine's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could take them up on a hill, give them a Nalgene full of cheap booze. Expensive cheap booze. booze, expensive, right. yeah. yeah. My budget is super budget. Mine only costs €7.90. Okay. You know, when I buy a budget gift for my girlfriend or boyfriend, I really go budget. Um, what I've done is I've gone chalk. Now, not just any chalk, 8C plus chalk. It's called Eco Blister. What's different about this is, is they've coloured it. And they cut, I know, I know, but they coloured it using uh, food standard dyes and it's grey. So on rocks like limestone, some granite, other grey rocks, I can't think of any right now, it doesn't look as ugly. So you know when you get those big white smears up the rock? I mean, but you're supposed to clean it after. You are supposed to clean it, but let's be honest, we've all been to font, right? It's everywhere. But if you had grey chalk and you're on limestone, it won't show up, no eco-present. <laughs> I think it's a lovely present. I want All some right. 8C plus okay. eco chalk. That's right. my budget. Price, uh, you said? Price was €7.90. Mm. It's like discounted, super cheap. Just don't tell your partner how much you're spending on no, it. No, this no. is very important. Medium present, so we're stepping up the price now. We said under €100 Euros ish. Yeah, you said yours first. You said my first. All right. Yeah. I said in my thing that I wanted t shirts. I've gone for t shirt and controversially, I've gone red chili t shirts. Never really worn red, red chili clothes before, but I love their new range. The one I've chosen, it's 35 euros. I like it in the white, and it's themed after the Olympics. So it's mm -hmm. Japanese based, it's kind of got those style graphics. It's about the Olympics. Everyone likes a nice crispy t shirt, especially a white one, especially one with climbing on it. I would like that. Okay. Hint. Just saying, if you want to buy me a Valentine's present, that's, oh, that would be. Okay, that would all be, right. It's a straight, mm -hmm. straight no, that one, huh? If you want to buy me a Valentine's <laughs> right, present okay. on the medium uh, range price, I choose a beta stick. Okay. Yeah, this is maybe a little bit um, egotistic present because so with a beta stick I can go climb by myself. Like, okay. I don't need. <laughs> we don't need someone for, for the first draw. Uh, yeah, I don't need. No, yeah, but I can even uh, set the entire clip up and top rope. Yeah. That, that is a lonely so Valentine's I don't, I don't, present. I don't need a... No, but I can go with my friend and I don't True. need a rope gun. Now, I know beat sticks come in three different sizes. Have you got a yes. preference on size? Yeah, I don't know. I think all the ultra compact or the super standard. I don't. Yeah. I don't want the ultra long one. No, I, I actually agree with you on that because I've got I've got the medium <laughs> one. No, yeah, but it's, you don't want an ultra long Valentine's <laughs> Day present. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, I agree with you, okay. the medium. I think that's a good <laughs> Let's price. Let's do this again. I think I'll go for the super standard or the ultra compact. Okay, cool. So that yeah. medium range or the smaller one, not yeah, the huge, I don't want, ridiculous. I, otherwise, it's dangling on your uh, yeah, you don't, harness. You, you don't want a big dangling thing yeah. on Valentine's Day, that is true. Right, uh, moving on to the blowout present. Uh, we set no budget for this at all. Do you want to go first or shall I? Mm, I don't know. I'll go first because okay. I'm excited by mine. Below the budget, I've gone sleeping bag. Now, there is logic behind this. Every single time I've gone on a climbing trip with my partner, with my girlfriend, whoever that might be, <laughs> there is, uh, they always nick my sleeping bag. So it's always like, they are a bit cold, so they either end up inside my sleeping bag and I just get crushed all night, or they take my sleeping bag and I freeze all night. So I figured I'm gonna buy my partner an ultra good sleeping bag great gift and I get a good night's sleep. But it's the thing that you would like to receive. Mate. Yes, I know. I want a good night's sleep. Uh, so if okay. I give them the sleep <laughs> <laughs> If I get a sleeping bag, I can give them the sleeping uh, bag and then okay. I have my sleeping bag and then I'm sorted. So it's uh, kind of a gift for me and for them. Okay. I don't know why, but this, this makes sense to me. So what I thought was is mountain hardware, right? Yeah. They do a few different style sleeping bags. Um, what I quite like is the Phantom sleeping bag. So 
there's two I want to look at, right? There's the Phantom, which goes down mm -hmm. to minus one, and then there's the Rook that goes down to minus one. Different price points, and that's because the Phantom has like ultra smart things. It's got like a neck collar that stops the heat escaping. It's got a contoured foot area, so it fits the perfect shape. 850 down fill. Okay. So whether I give it to them or whether I keep it for myself, that sleeping bag is going to please everyone. That's what I figured. All right. It's my turn. <laughs> it's your turn. I pick. I picked more than one thing. Of course okay. you did. All right. So um, I really would love a portal edge, but I think maybe this is a little bit too much. Or a set of uh, friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like my dog is going over the top. <laughs> anyway, stay calmo. I also pick something from Mountain Arbor, and but it's a jacket. It's a down jacket. And I picked the Super DS climbing climb hoodie. Mm -hmm. And why I'm... why specifically that one? What kind of what excites you about that one? Well, first of all, it's uh, I think it's very warm, <laughs> and it's um, has a specific pattern that makes it very stretchy. And it has um, I don't know how to describe this, Matt. Like it's, it's a patch for that goes into the harness. Ah, so uh, okay. Not... So it doesn't ride up when exactly. you're doing climbing moves. Okay, yeah. I get yeah. you. Yeah, or like if you're belaying yeah. your partner and it's cold, you have to stay there and it's you can wear a jacket. So it's like techy, but at the same time you could wear that maybe out to your Valentine's Day oh, date. Yeah. It's quite smart. But I didn't the pick just one part of the jacket. <laughs> I also pick one for the color. This one just for the color. Ooh, it's like very that. warm. It's the Lingen Down jacket okay. uh, from Norona. It's a uh, bright pink. Right, it's very expensive. Very expensive, but I mean, it's bright pink. This is true. So bright pink <laughs> Valentine's Day. It ticks all the boxes, yeah, don't it? Exactly. So the final category is for the climber who has everything, okay? So what would I like to receive as a climber? I have a lot of stuff, let's be honest. So I've gone for these playing cards uh, from Best Boulders. A guy called Matthias has made these. Now the reason that I like these is... No, the reason why you like this. I'm on it, basically. Exactly. It's mainly because I'm on it. Um, but also, yeah. to be fair, cards very useful. On a bivvy, mm -hmm. if you've been stuck in a mountain hut, it's storming, yeah. you have to play cards, strip poker, whatever it is, it's Valentine's Day, let's be honest. Uh, so what's good about these cards is pro climbers on the colour cards, for example, Mr. Magos there, Alex yeah. Magos, and you're right. Myself and Hugo are one of the jokers. It's beautiful, okay, isn't it? right. He looks far yeah. more attractive in, in the photo on the card than I do, but that doesn't matter. Uh, these cards, they're about 20 euros in the Epic TV shop. They are pretty unique. Like, yes, it's a set of cards, but it's got some real pros. Every pro has signed it. I'm on it. I like it. That's my gift for the climbing uh, everything. This is a very good one. Mm, me, I picked like um, something a bit crazy maybe. Okay. It's a uh, unisex leggings. And uh, from a new brand that we are carrying on the shop now, that it's uh, so solid, an Austrian brand. And uh, they have many different types of leggings and uh, they are very technical. So they're not like normal leggings that you can buy wherever. They are okay. like specific for climbing. So they are crazy patterns. Um, I like that. I like the crazy pattern because we, we did this thing about retro gear. It's kind of retro gear, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Like something you see out one of those yeah. 70s climbing movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you said they were unisex, right? Exactly. So there's like three sizes, men, okay. women. No, this is so I've got an image in my head. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> you've had the dinner. You're back mm. at the room. You give the tights. And then what's great is he can then try the tights on immediately afterwards. And you can both just wear the tights. One leg but each, the perhaps. The tights are for me. <laughs> yeah, but if you want, you want to get involved, okay. you can, it's like a multi-present. Right. A multi-present because it fits a man and a woman. Exactly. Too. There you yeah, go. Anything. Perfect, yeah. These are cool gifts. Uh, guys, this is a little bit of fun. We just wanted to show you some of the ideas that are out there for Valentine's Day. Of course, you can vote uh, if you like my set of gifts that I want for myself. Uh, so we've got, you know, chalk, sleeping bags, all that kind of stuff. Let us know down below. If you want Alice's presents for herself, si. pink down jackets, bright leggings, Cups. and uh, yeah, and, uh, and an Algini bottle full of wine. <laughs> that wasn't included yeah. in the price. We do well, not sell it full of, yeah. full of wine. No. Uh, but yeah, vote on your favorite product. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Hope you have an Buon amazing San day. Buon San Valentino. How do you say it in Italian? Buon San Valentino. Buon San Valentino. Bravo. Va bene.